What's up guys and welcome to my very first video in this C Sharp tutorial series. So this video is going to mostly be dealing with setting up our environment for C Sharp. And that mostly pertains to just downloading and installing Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition, okay? So as some of you may know, I do have a current tutorial series on Xamarin that, uh, that I do have going on right now actually. And what Xamarin is, if you're not familiar with it, is it a, it's, a, it's a tool that allows you to build iOS and Android applications using the C Sharp programming language, okay? So you don't need to learn Java, you don't need to learn, don't need to learn Objective-C or Swift, just learn C Sharp and that's it. And then now all your mobile uh, concerns are taken care of as far as programming language goes, okay? And that's the goal of Xamarin. So it's a really great tool and, and since I've been doing a lot of tutorial series, or videos on it, I've been getting a lot of questions with C Sharp specifically. So I decided now's a good time to start a C Sharp series that, that deals with just the language itself and, and not really much else. That way the viewers that are using Xamarin can go back to these videos and reference them. And also I'm targeting people that are, that are new to C Sharp, but have a little bit of experience with with programming. So if, if you are coming from Java or C++ or even C or Python, which a lot of us are, and including myself, C Sharp wasn't my first language that I learned. And I believe majority of it, majority of us programmers, that is re really is the case, you know, it's usually our second, our third language. So I'm going to be targeting people that are not new to programming, but new to C Sharp. So they know what a function is. They know, you know, if you know what an integer is and stuff like that, and just those really basics of it, then uh, that's what I'm going to be targeting. So that, because I believe that is the majority of C sharp developers when we are beginning. Okay. And that, that's not saying if you are new to C sharp and programming all in one that you're not going to catch on because I will do my best to be as uh, thorough as possible. Okay. So just a disclaimer there on, on who I'm targeting and, and we'll also go over, uh, what C sharp is good for, what it can be used with. That way you have a good understanding before you really dive in and put time into learning this language. Okay. So first things first though, let's go ahead and download Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition, okay? So let's go ahead and pull up our favorite search engine and go ahead and click on the first link after Googling Visual Studio Community and make sure you get Community, not Express, because they are different. And the main reason is because this one's actually, it's basically professional, but with a, a lot looser and really, really a lot looser license. So if you come down here, It'll say who can use Visual Studio Community. So if you're an individual developer, and then and it says any individual developer can use Visual Studio Community to create their own free or paid apps. And this is huge because before you would need some kind of sort of license or you would need to buy, you know, a professional or something if you wanted to have a paid app and you want to, and then you would have to just go through all these, all this licensing. So now you can use Visual Studio and you can use, you can create free or paid apps with no questions, okay? And there's also some more things if you belong to an organization such as a school or, or a company. So there are some things down here that if you can see whether or not you can use and, and create paid apps, okay? But Visual Studio Community Edition is, is a great ID because it's basically professional, the professional tools within Visual Studio Professional, but you're getting this really loose license, okay? So go ahead and download that and you'll download the executable, okay? And what you wanna do is just open that up and just start this over, okay? And because I already have Professional 2013, then it's not going to let me install Community Edition, okay? So, but to go through the steps, just go ahead and it's really simple. It, it does take a while, but just, you know, install it in your program files or wherever you wanna install it. And Visual Studio basically just takes care of the rest for you, okay? However, once you're, if you are waiting for it to install, then download and, and all that stuff, then let's go ahead and take a look at what C Sharp can do for us and what we can do with C Sharp. So what can C Sharp be used for? Or in other words, what tools are at your disposal when you become efficient at C Sharp? And I believe that's always a good question to ask, especially when you're learning a new program language and investing all this time you don't want to learn this and because let's you know let's let's face it it's it's not easy to learn a new language and become efficient at it uh, you don't want to do that and then you know there's nothing out there that runs on it and it's basically useless right so these are always good questions to ask before you start really investing your time into learning a new language so let's go ahead and dive into some of these topics now and 
So if you're, if you're learning, if you're wanting to do desktop application development, then Windows Presentation Foundation is something that's gonna come up a lot. And it's also known as WPF. So what it is, is a tool basically that allows you to build rich applications for Windows desktop uh, users. So using that with C Sharp and the .NET framework, really allows you to really build some cool stuff, okay? So if you're looking at the desktop application, C Sharp will handle that uh, just fine with WPF. Now, say, you know, desktop's not your thing, websites and web applications are more your thing, so that's fine. You can use also ASP.NET, which you can use C Sharp with, of course, and uh, Silverlight will be used, can be used for website applications, okay? So, you know, you can really build some really cool stuff with ASP.NET using C Sharp and the framework, and then, of course, uh, Silverlight can be used for some really cool applications that are run on the web. Now, say, you know, this isn't your stuff either, you're looking into more of a mobile, then C Sharp could do that as well, because the fact that C Sharp, when it's coupled with Xamarin, like I mentioned earlier, it can be used to write code for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Where before that, it was, you know, if you want to learn iOS, you had to know Swift or Objective-C or even both and you uh, had to know Java and you had to know C Sharp for Windows Phone. However, now you can just learn one language and then write for all of these three platforms. So this is really huge for one, just a programmer, because it, if you wanted to write for just one, two, or even three of these, learning a new language is hard and to become efficient, it takes time. So that would be a, really a heavy workload for a programmer. And for a company, it was a really time consuming for the fact that you had to write the same logic, but you know, for different, in different languages because of the fact that you know you can't write swift on android and, and you know vice versa so you had to write it in its native language and you know really rewrite logic and that would take time and money so xamarin is now remedying this problem problem significantly because it now lets you use a shared c sharp code base in which you can share code even with these ios and android and windows phone applications so really great and if you are looking this mobile app mobile development, I do have a series on Xamarin using C Sharp to build Android applications, all right? So, but if mobile's not your thing and you're more looking to say gaming, then Unity is a great 3D game engine used uh, to build some really cool games, both actually 2D and 3D. And of course you can use C Sharp with Unity, it, it supports it. So Unity uh, also runs with Boo in JavaScript, but the popularity of C Sharp is growing and growing and more and more developers are using C Sharp to build their games with Unity. So, I mean, as you can see, you know, C Sharp is a really broad and general language in the fact that it can be used for many things. However, it's very powerful for any specific task. So it's very, uh, just a really good all around language to learn and using it will, will give you a lot of tools at your disposal and really much more. I mean, you can really go many different routes by learning just one language. All right, so once we have Visual Studio Community Edition or Professional or something equivalent, uh, let's go ahead and start a writing an application. And of course, what would any tutorial series be without a Hello World application? <laughs> so we're gonna have to do that, all right? So let's go ahead and write one in C Sharp. So let's go ahead and start a new project, Visual C Sharp, console application, and we'll, we'll call it Hello World. So this is gonna start us a new project with a template and uh, a main static method, okay? And don't worry about any of this right now, we'll go over it. But the first thing, the only thing we're really, really gonna do is just write to the console. And we can do that by console, write line, hello world. All right, spice it up a little bit. Now that's going to actually write to the console and notice if we run it, we can hit F5 or start. It's gonna blink for a second, the, the console window, but we're not gonna hardly see anything. And that's because it actually terminates right away, okay? So in order to stop that, what we can do is just do console.readline, so that way it'll actually wait for some user input, and then it allow us some time to see what's going on, which of course we already know, but just for good keeping. So now we see Hello World printed out, okay? So we have completed our Hello World application. Now we can move on with our tutorial series because we wouldn't be able to unless we have that all right <laughs> so uh now that that's done we can hit enter and it will terminate the application and all is good all right so there you have it guys so at this point we should have some uh an ide uh like visual St visual studio we should have that com uh, community edition but if we have something else that's fine to actually write our c-sharp applications 
and uh, we've gone over a little bit of, of what C Sharp can do for us and you know what, what we can do with it. And in the next video, we're gonna go over just kind of looking over the IDE and just getting used to Visual Studio and just some common tasks that, that we'll be needing to know as this tutorial series progresses. All right, thanks for watching, guys.